or welcome back. The Azmiya no Moja One Kenya Collision is questioning what it terms as strange borrowing by the Kenya Kwanza administration in the last run of the 2022 and 2023 financial year, citing 213 billion shillings it says was borrowed at an exaggerated interest rate. In a statement, Raila Odinga expressed concern that the government appetite for borrowing will starve the private sector of credit and result in high interest rates. Our reporter Barry Lakini now reports. Hi. As the Kenya Kwanzaa government continues to face criticism over the new loans it has acquired since assuming office despite having repeated during the campaigns that it will minimize the need to borrow to meet its obligation. The opposition leader is questioning what it terms as an explained suspicious borrowing spree in the last one week. But locals in the country have expressed their optimism and positivity towards the government borrowing despite concerns from opposition leader. <laughs> Lazima kuna kitu wameona kina, kina farmu kwa idea. Nasa hiyo mkopo, wangu mimi nikiona, ni wa maana. Sibabu rais, yeye, anaelewa pita. Yeye ni binadamu. The government's borrowing has sparked a debate among locals on who are insisting that the money borrowed should benefit them directly. The citizens are calling on the government to channel the borrowed funds towards building essential infrastructure that will improve their living standards, create employment opportunities, and boost economic growth. Okay, upanda wangu mimi kama kama mwana 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 najua eh, wakati tumekua na uhuru kinyata tumekua uhuru kinyata tumekua kama presendi wetu na nikuwa nasikia ya kuwa wali hii kenya mekua na mateni mingi sana na wema ideni haikuwa merecheshwa pato mbaka sasa kati pesa hasicha kuwa maana uh, mwena me, ame, yana mechumika ya kuwa aonke na inji singine sa inje na wezi kope ese pesa adi sikirudi pesa hali mateni senye sikuwa katika hiki tumawe kasa hivi saa hii singine sa inje na, na wezi kope ese despite the government insisting that the borrowed funds are crucial for the country's growth the opposition parties continue to raise concerns about the increasing accumulation of debt they argue that the government is engaging in reckless borrowing which could potentially cripple the economy Berilakini, Tandao News Outlook